What was your favorite romantic show during the lockdown? I bet it was Bridgerton. From Simon Bassett's looks to Daphne's beautiful dresses and the all-around gossip, the show was totally worth the hype. If you didn't watch it, then you're about to miss out on the best part yet, a prequel. Queen Charlotte was undeniably one of the best characters, and now she's getting a spin-off series. Keep watching to see everything about Bridgerton's prequel. Firstly, let's look at the prequel. One of the very first characters we got introduced to in the first season of Bridgerton was Queen Charlotte. On Friday, May 14th, Netflix announced an upcoming prequel that will delve into the young royal's origin story. The Queen Charlotte limited series will also feature some familiar characters, namely Lady Danbury and Violet Bridgerton. Via an Instagram post, Shonda Land shared the news about the prequel. It wrote, The Bridgerton-verse is expanding. Netflix and Shonda Land will add a second show to the franchise, a limited prequel series based on the origins of Queen Charlotte, which was written by Shonda Rhimes. The spin-off will also tell the story of young Violet Bridgerton and Lady Danbury. Rhymes will also serve as executive producer alongside Betsy Beers and Tom Verica. Additionally, Shondaland veteran Jess Brownell, who has worked on Scandal, the first two seasons of Bridgerton, and the upcoming Netflix series Inventing Anna, has been named showrunner for seasons three and four of the Regency era drama. We're abuzz with excitement as we continue to share her brilliance with the world. From what we can see, the perfectly self-contained universe of Bridgerton and Regency era London, which we've come to love, will surely be growing rapidly as we continue to expand the world of Bridgerton. We now have the opportunity to devote even more of the Shondaland fold to the Bridgerton verse, said Rhymes. We've worked with Jess Brownell for over a decade and have long wanted to find the right project to place in her hands. When it came time to pass the baton, I knew this unique voice was vital to the future of the show. Shonda and her team are thoughtfully building out the Bridgerton universe, so they keep delivering for the fans with the same quality and style they love, said Bajeria. Next, we look at the source. The next Netflix Bridgerton series was an adaptation from Julia Queen's Regency era series, which contains eight books. Every installment will be an adaptation of one of each novel, all leading us through the lives of the Bridgerton sisters. Now what makes the prequel unique is the fact that unlike Bridgerton and other characters in the show and the upcoming seasons, Queen Charlotte was totally made up by the writers. She wasn't mentioned in the novels at all. You see, rather than taking a page from Julia Quinn's best-selling novels, Bridgerton's writers made the creative choice to add a dramatized version of the real-life monarch played by Golda Rashuvel to the series. In a recent interview with Variety, Rhyme said she got the idea for a Charlotte-centered spin-off from Netflix CEO Ted Sanderos. I'll be blunt, it was when Ted picked up the phone and called me and said, why aren't we doing a show about Queen Charlotte? And will you write it? Not that she needed any convincing. I'm very obsessed with Queen Charlotte, and I always call her the Beyonce of the show, she told the entertainment magazine. I'm constantly saying out loud, God, I love her wigs, somehow hoping that somebody will send me one of her wigs so that I could walk around wearing it. So there's no fictional source material for the prequel. However, Shonda Rhimes, who's writing and executive producing the yet untitled series, will have the possibly first black British monarch's history to draw from. Charlotte of Mecklenburg Strelitz was born a German noble and became queen consort to George III upon their marriage in 1761. Together, the couple had 15 children. Their granddaughter, Victoria, daughter of their third son, Edward, would later become queen in 1837. As portrayed in Bridgerton, King King George III suffered several bouts of mental illness, which eventually became a permanent condition, making it impossible for his wife to be around him. We'd certainly get to see more of that in the series. While in the Bridgerton series, the monarch mostly fills her time indulging her fondness for society gossip. In real life, Queen Charlotte was also an amateur botanist and a passionate patron of music, especially the works of German composers like Handel and Mozart, who at age 8 was invited to play at court. As her husband's condition deteriorated in the late 18th century, Queen Charlotte found refuge in a country estate she purchased near Windsor Castle called Frogmore House. A few years later, in 1801, she commissioned an addition to the grounds, Frogmore Cottage. The Frogmore House and Cottage are now most famously associated with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who hosted their wedding reception at Frogmore House, and later lived in Frogmore Cottage as their home for a brief period before permanently breaking away from their working royal roles in early 2020. However, Frogmore Cottage is where Princess Eugenie currently lives with her husband, Jack Brooksbank, and their son, August. Next up, the premiere date. According to reports, the spin-off is in the early development stages and doesn't quite have the release date yet. However, the Regency period drama has plenty more content to look forward to regardless. Bridgerton Season 2 is currently in production, and Netflix also renewed the series for Season 3 and 4 in April. By planning and prepping all the upcoming seasons now, we also hope to keep up a pace that will keep even the most insatiable viewers totally fulfilled, Bajeria said in a statement. Netflix also announced on May 14th that Jess Bronwell, who 
previously worked on such Shondaland shows as Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and Private Practice, will take over for showrunner Chris Van Dusen on Bridgerton's third and fourth seasons. As we continue to expand the world of Bridgerton, we now have the opportunity to devote even more of the Shondaland fold to the Bridgerton verse, Rhymes said in a statement, also via Variety. We've worked with Jess Brownwell for over a decade and have long wanted to find the right project to place in her hands. When it came time to pass the baton, I knew this unique voice was vital to the future of the show. If we could give a good guess on the release date, then it could squeeze in for a Christmas 2022 treat, but we're not 100% sure. 2023 seems the most sensible release window at the moment. Now let's look into the cast. The production hasn't revealed any details of the cast yet. To be fair, the show is still in its early stage. However, fans are floating ideas about some of the actors they'd like to see in key roles, like Violet's late husband, Edmund Bridgerton. Fans hope that he would be included in the prequel, and having actor Ben Barnes portray him is already proving to be a popular suggestion. Golda Rochuvel plays the role of Queen Charlotte in the main series, and the two other characters confirmed for the prequel were played in the Mothership series by Ruth Gemmell and Adjoa Ando. Now let's look at the plot. The title of the prequel series hasn't been fully revealed yet, but all the production sources we've seen have the series named Queen Charlotte. It's worth bearing in mind that this could be just a working title. It's also worth noting HBO Max is listed to release a show called Queen Charlotte too. The book series Bridgerton is based on real history, so we can take some cues as to what we can expect. Also, since Queen Charlotte was a real-life queen, we're certain that her history will make good for a great storyline. From what we know about her history, Charlotte married six hours after meeting the king after living in Germany as a princess, and she also had an eye for art, as she was one of the first people to recognize the talent of the young Mozart. We could probably get a glimpse of that in the prequel, don't you think? Anyway, we'd certainly get to see her ancestral history, given that it's been a rather hot topic since the show's release. I mean, there are numerous stories out there asking and answering the question as to whether Queen Charlotte was the first monarch of color in the UK. Finally, we're taking a look at production. Shonda Rhimes will serve as the main writer on the show. This is the first time Shonda has been directly involved in the writing, as she served only as an executive producer on the main series. Betsy Beers and Tom Berica serve as producers on the new spinoff. They've partnered with Rhimes on several projects in the past, including Bridgerton itself, as well as non-Netflix projects including Grey's Anatomy and How to Get Away with Murder. Thanks to numerous sources, production on the limited series we've learned is due to begin in January 2022. It'll take place in London, although it's not clear whether it'll be done at Netflix's Shepperton Studios. Of course, Bridgerton Season 2 is still filming throughout 2021, so the prequel will likely pick up filming either during or shortly after Season 2 wraps. That'll then eventually lead to Season 3 being filmed sometime in 2022. Are you excited about the prequel? And do you think it'd be just as worthwhile as the first season of Bridgerton? Share your answers with us in the comments section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to our channel. We have loads of exciting content for you.